Kristen. Hi, good evening. How are you? <laughs> now I, I feel very tired. Oh, again? <laughs> yeah. Why? Did you have a meeting with your boss again? No, no, no. Don't, don't have boss. Don't have boss. Today, it don't have boss. Really? Um, yeah. Um, but I have to join many the meeting. Oh. <laughs> oh, but are you going to talk to the meeting like that, or you're just going to listen to someone that is speaking? Mm, both. Uh, first, uh, I uh, listen um, to them. To them. Uh, to them. They uh, talk about the problem. Oh. Yeah, they talk about the problem when they uh, use the. Oh, okay. Uh, then I uh, I give solution. I give the solution. Oh yeah, because you are the team leader, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, since the morning, you've been attending a lot of meeting. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh I my gosh. More. I have uh I have a meeting. Oh and okay. yeah and the afternoon yeah I have I have a meeting too. Mm. <laughs> so two meetings for today. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but what about your work? It's done? Was no <laughs> yet because yeah, of because... the meeting yeah oh my gosh so uh but today you're done with everything so you're going home after this right yeah oh that's very nice so do you feel um do you feel hungry no i feel very tired not hungry <laughs> tired <laughs> so i still think that you're going to stay up late until um 10 p.m i guess Mm. To watch something, right? You still stay up late. Sorry, um, I I don't understand. I, uh, can you, yeah, yeah. Can I you. I just guess that when you go home, so after you eat dinner, so I still think that you're going to stay up late until like ten p.m. because you're going to watch something, a movie like that, even if you're tired. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. It's amazing that you're not late today. So now let's start our lesson. So this is about the grammar. So present perfect. Or... <laughs> about about flow. Oh. It's very it's very noisy because uh, <laughs> this is the time we we go we we live. Yeah, live that's the true, right? Yeah. So who is going to stay in the office? No one. No one is going to stay there. The office yeah, will uh, be closed. No. Uh my my department my department have, have one one person in the department stay in the department. Ah, okay. So sh he or she is going to stay there. Until tomorrow, uh, like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So, oh, by the way, where does he or she going to take a shower? In the office? Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they go out. They go, uh, they go out or they... Uh, and the, how they are uh, good. The hospital. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they um and, and they have to take a shower. Oh. Take a shower. The other department. Where do they sleep? Mm, they can they can sleep uh in my department. Is there a bed? Yeah. Mm, because uh, 
de have a small bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, a small bag. Why does he need to stay there? Is it necessary that he is sleeps there? That he stays there? Yeah. Uh, they 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 will pay they will pay a bonus. Ah, oh, okay. It's still about the work. That's why they are staying. They will pay a bonus and they uh, they um they have a they have one. Anna, they have um zero point zero point five day. Oh wow, that's very zero nice. Yeah. Okay, okay. So now, so no one is noisy now, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, going back. This is number two, grammar. So the present perfect grammar. or the past simple. So I want you to go back to the story and then look at the four questions in the interview. So, answer the following. So, number one, can you read the first question, please? Which question? How about, how about experience sometime in Linda's life? Okay, so going back to the story about Linka. So, in which question is it about her experiences in life? Yourself. Yeah. Um, I have to. I have to come back. The blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So and the I, the style uh, interview. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to find the question. You are, yeah, that there. is correct. As you can oh. see, there are. Did you always want to be a designer? Why do you think people like your clothes? What nationality do you think has the best fashion sense? Have you ever been to a fancy dress party? What did you go as? Have you ever met someone who was wearing exactly the same as you? Have you ever fallen off because you were wearing very high heels? What did you do? Have you ever designed clothes for men? And the last one was, was what it? What? When was it? So you are going to choose the questions here, from here, which is the question that is about Linka's experiences in life. Yeah. Mm. Have you ever been to a fancy dress party? Very good, that is correct. Mm. Have you ever met someone who was wearing exactly the same as you? Great job, that is correct. Um, have you have you ever fallen over, fallen over because you were wearing very high heels? Very good. So that are and the last the last one is. is uh, have you ever? designer clothes for a man okay so great job so those are the answers for question number one can you read question number two now number two what question about specific woman in linda past okay so we will answer now specific moments in her past so going back um did you always want to be a designer very good next what did you go at okay very good next next what did and the last one what it okay great job that is correct so here is the next activity for you number three Number three. Uh, what does I ever mean in the question that begin have you ever? Okay, what does it mean for you 
in your own words. Uh, same you too. It means same you too. You too? Mm, you too. Used to. Okay, so that is yeah. correct. Or you mean to say at any time, right? At any time. So ever, any yeah, time. very good. So have you ever in any time that uh, you're wearing a fancy dress before? So there is no specific time, right? So it is at any time. Have you ever in any time that you've been wearing a fancy dress before like that okay so now let's go to another activity for you so here is about listening so listen to four people answering the question have you ever bought something that you've never worn what did they buy so you are going to write one to four in the boxes so there is one item you don't need to so there are five boxes there there are only four correct answers but before you answer that when can you answer the question first this is for yourself have you ever bought something that you've never worn <laughs> yeah <laughs> why why yeah. not <laughs> uh, because uh, that time i am very loving oh yeah and i then I want to, then I want to, then I want to buy it. Okay. After that, I, uh, when I, when I bring, uh, when I brought it in hand, I feel, I feel, um, no necessary. Oh my gosh, what's that? What is it that you bought? Maybe a new bag. Oh, bag. Yeah. Where is bag. it now? And and now now I I I still I still feel it. And, in the in the in the other other case, oh, okay. uh, maybe uh, um, maybe uh, close closer. Oh, okay. But it says here you've never used or you've never worn. You told me you still have it, but you never use it. Mm. Something. Something I uh, I still you it now yeah uh, yeah mm -hmm. the other thing the other thing I uh, I don't use. oh okay what's that is that a dress yeah <laughs> why yes. why not <laughs> because uh, I I am now. I am. Fast. I fast. You're fat? Yeah, I faster <laughs> than before. So I so I can so I can wear it. It doesn't fit mm. you anymore? Mm -hmm. Sorry, can you repeat? It doesn't fit you anymore? You can't fit into it? Yeah. Oh my <laughs> 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 But what about your sister? Why won't you give it to your sister? Mm. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday I told I told her that uh, you can you can um you can give uh, you can uh, wear, wear wow it. okay then you can wear it uh, then uh, she she told me. She told me uh, that she don't like it. <laughs> what is the color, like by it. the way? 
this is like it. What is the color? <laughs> this is uh, this this what uh this word this word uh, host time. Oh, but why don't you wear it at work? It's not okay. Uh, no. It is not suitable. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, going back to the story. So, you're going to listen. Okay. So, there are four people. So, they are talking about a thing that they bought, but they haven't used it. So, here is the audio. Listen carefully. Yeah. 2.26. One. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? <laughs> yes, hasn't everyone? I remember some trousers I bought that I never wore. What was the problem with them? <laughs> they were very tight black leather trousers that I bought from a second-hand shop near Portobello Road when I was about 20 years old. I remember when I was in the changing room, I thought they looked fantastic. I thought I looked like Jim Morrison from The Doors. But when I got home, in the cold light of day, I realised that I looked more like one of the women from ABBA. That's why I never wore them. Two. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Uh, yes, a karate suit. I decided that I wanted to do karate, and I signed up for a course and bought the suit in the orange belt... But then I changed my mind and decided not to do the course. Why not? I was worried that someone would knock my teeth out. <laughs> do you still have the suit? No, I sold it on eBay. Three. Mm -hmm. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Mm, sadly, it happens to me quite often, because I hate clothes shopping and I never try things on. For example... I have a shirt in my wardrobe now that I've never worn. Why not? Well, I bought it in a hurry a few months ago, and then I put it away in my wardrobe. A few weeks later, I took it out and looked at it, and I thought, why did I buy this? It's horrible. Pink and purple stripes. And of course, I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. Hmm. Four. Hmm. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Oh, lots of things, I'm afraid. The last one was a brown leather coat. What was wrong with it? Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap offers. But when it arrived, it looked completely different from what it looked like on screen and I decided I didn't like it. So it's in my wardrobe. I'm sure I'm never going to wear it, but perhaps I'll give it to someone as a present. OK, so now when... Tell me which four boxes is the correct answer. Mm. In any order. Num in any order. Number one. Oh, coat. Okay. Mm, some trousers. Very good. Mm. A skirt. A skirt? Are you sure? Uh, I don't know. Okay, next. Um, some sport clothes. Those are your four answers? Mm. Yeah. I only hear that. I only hear clearly that uh, a coat and some shirt. Okay, so the yeah. next one is some sports clothes, right? Did you hear that she bought for karate? She's going to uh, do karate. Did you hear it? That's I don't know. Karate? Okay, that's okay. And the third one, the fourth one is the shirt. Sure. Shirt. Oh, the I purple and the yellow one, I guess. Okay, so now when we are going to listen again, so what was the problem with the clothes that they bought? So we are going to write one to four in the following boxes. So now here is the audio again. Yeah. 
2.26. 1. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? <laughs> yes, hasn't everyone? I remember some trousers I bought that I never wore. What was the problem with them? <laughs> they were very tight black leather trousers that I bought from a second-hand shop near Portobello Road when I was about 20 years old. I remember when I was in the changing room, I thought they looked fantastic. I thought I looked like Jim Morrison from The Doors. But when I got home, in the cold light of day, I realised that I looked more like one of the women from ABBA. That's why I never wore them. 2. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Uh, yes, a karate suit. I decided that I wanted to do karate, and I signed up for a course and bought the suit in the orange belt, but then I changed my mind and decided not to do the course. Why not? I was worried that someone would knock my teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> do you still have the suit? No, I sold it on eBay. 3. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Mm, sadly, it happens to me quite often, because I hate clothes shopping and I never try things on. For example, I have a shirt in my wardrobe now that I've never worn. Why not? Well, I bought it in a hurry a few months ago, and then I put it away in my wardrobe. A few weeks later, I took it out and looked at it, and I thought, why did I buy this? It's horrible pink and purple stripes. And of course I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. 4. Have you ever bought something that you've never worn? Oh, lots of things, I'm afraid. The last one was a brown leather coat. What was wrong with it? Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap offers. But when it arrived, it looked completely different from what it looked like on screen and I decided I didn't like it. So it's in my wardrobe. I'm sure I'm never going to wear it, but perhaps I'll give it to someone as a present. OK, so now when this person, what is your answer for number one? Number one is... Mm. Certainly didn't need the new clothes anymore. Are you sure? Number one? Number one. Oh, number one. Your answer for number Bo one is uh, some trousers, right? And Bob bought the clothes too quickly. And Max and like the Okay, that's wrong again. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yeah, because uh, the answer should be, so this person wanted to look like a famous singer. So he mentioned that there is a singer that he wants to be, uh, to be, to look like. But then he looked like another singer. No, I, I, I don't hear the I don't hear you. Okay, so this is my question for you. Do you want to listen again for the last time? Mm. No. No, okay. So Okay, so your answer should be wanted to look like a famous singer but looked like another. No. What is your number two? Number two. Um, number two. Suddenly, didn't need the new clothes anymore. Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so number two should be bought. This person bought the clothes too quickly and later mm. didn't like them. Yeah. So that is the pink and purple shirt. So he was in a hurry, right? So he was in a hurry to buy that. But when he got home, he doesn't like it. Okay, so what is your number three now? Number three? Yeah, suddenly. Doesn't need the new closet anymore. That's your number three? Yeah. Okay, so that is correct. And the last one? Number four. 
bought something or like buy the clothes when they arrive. Okay, so great job. So now let's have the last activity for tonight. Vocabulary. So this is about shopping. So I want you to listen to some sentences from the listening. You are going to complete the gaps with one word with a partner. Say what the highlighted phrases mean. So first we are going to answer the blanks. So here is the audio. Okay, here. Two point twenty seven. One. I remember when I was in the changing room, I thought they looked fantastic. Two. I sold it on eBay. Three. I hate clothes shopping and I never try things on. Four. I didn't have the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. Five. Well, I bought it online from a website that has cheap offers. Okay. So now. Yeah. yeah? Do you want to listen again? Yeah. The audio. The scene finished. Oh, okay. So here, let me play it again for you. Okay. No. Yeah. I I I done. Okay, so can you read number one, please? Uh, I remember when I was in the changing room, I thought they look fantastic. Number two. Number two. I sold it on eBay. Number three. Number three. I had clothes shopping and I never tried things on. Okay, this word. How do you pronounce that word? Hate. Oh, I hate. Very good. Number four. Mm, number four. I didn't buy the risky receipt. I didn't buy the receipt, so I couldn't take it back. Very good. And the last one? The last one. Well, I bought it online from a, a website that that has cheap offers okay so great job so you did a really great job even though there has been a little just a little mistake in the first activity that's okay <laughs> maybe you're just too tired <laughs> okay so when we are going to continue about these highlighted words for tomorrow okay yeah. okay thank you so much do not forget your only one word that you mispronounce it is hate Hate. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So thank you so much, Ren. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Take care. Bye -bye. <laughs> Tomorrow.